Hello friends, I recently took an Uber Eats package delivery. This really blew my mind and I'll share more about that in just a second. But first, let me put these away. These are just examples of the type of package deliveries you could also get. And I'm going to share in this video some interesting facts on if a package delivery order is worth your time. And I'm going to go over some of the varieties of them and things to watch out for. So getting back to this one that blew my mind, I thought for sure Uber Eats had made a mistake because this has happened before. When I accepted an order, it was a package delivery. They were taking me to an apartment complex to someone's house. And this has happened before. Uber Eats marked the customer's address as where the store is and the store is the customer's address. And that was clearly wrong. So I cautiously approached that apartment complex. I didn't even bring my gear with me because I fully expected that was going to be the customer. But when I got up to the door and knocked, sure enough, they opened it and they quickly assured me I was in the right spot because they have a home business doing bakery and pastries. Wow, this was a first for me. So overall, this gets into what are package deliveries on Uber Eats. Let's take a step back. How do businesses right now get their products to the customer in a retail environment? Well, an easiest way would be to sell your product and then turn it over to companies like FedEx, UPS, DHL, different third-party logistics companies. As you can imagine, these types of businesses are expensive. So Uber Eats is very smart to cut out that middleman and place drivers like you and I in there to do it far cheaply than another company can do. So this explains why there are a variety of companies now doing Uber Eats package deliveries. So don't be surprised. Over time, I've done quite a few of these and recently it's just proven to be a fact. I've confirmed that businesses are the ones setting up the Uber Eats deliveries to the customer. When we do normal food delivery, the customer is placing the order, the customer is going to give you a tip, the customer is going to give you a rating. But in the case of these businesses, they don't want to use other expensive 3PLs, third-party logistics. Instead, they want to use you because they can pay you far less than these other companies. So for drivers, if our base pay was enough, that would be great. But we heavily rely on tips to make ends meet. So in package deliveries, do you always get a tip? Not necessarily. Let's look at a variety. There are flower deliveries, and these are on many platforms. Sometimes you get a tip, sometimes you don't. On grocery orders, these are primarily what I was used to on package deliveries because the customer's placing an order with that company, that store is boxing it up, and then the delivery driver, which is you, take it to the customer. And you do get tips from this. Not all customers, but many do. I almost forgot to mention some of the other types of companies I've delivered auto parts from say AutoZone to a dealership or to an independent dealership for mechanics to fix the car. So I've shuttled parts. I ended up not getting tips on those. And I've also taken tire deliveries from a tire distributor out to a variety of locations. And I have proven that the local company is the one ordering the tire, placing that order, and then it goes to you as the driver. That tire distributor is not in the action on that. In fact, they have a variety of companies and services that all use their tire distribution area and they set up their own logistics. So there's a variety of ways of doing that. But for us specifically with Uber Eats, that customer, the shop that ordered the tires, is the one that could tip you. I've never gotten tipped on these, so don't expect it. A really big insight is when a few days ago, I got an order from a paint store. I ended up delivering one five gallon, really heavy container of paint to a contractor far away. Now, the, it wasn't really totally worth it. It was like $10 for 12 miles and carrying this really heavy paint can. So I don't know if all drivers could handle these types of deliveries. I wasn't necessarily hoping for a tip, but hey, you never know. Maybe it was the contractor ordering it and maybe they would tip me. So when I send my message when I'm a few minutes out, it automatically came back and gave the name of that paint company saying a sales rep would contact me soon. That proved it right there in my mind that companies are the ones setting these up. It's not the customer. <laughs> and more on this in a little bit. I just had a nightmare sign delivery. It was a package order delivery from this area going way down into Los Angeles. 
and it was quite challenging. In that case, when I was messaging the customer, I really wasn't sure if it was the customer or if it was going back to that company. In hindsight, I did get a tip and I think it's because the company knew that I had gone above and beyond to take that sign all the way down into Los Angeles. I don't know for sure, but I'll tell you what, that paint order delivery, that proved it right there that the business was the one setting up that order. And then finally, when I did this pastry order for a home business, wow, isn't that a first? So think about it. On Amazon, when you order from that company, I try to just stick with Amazon. You take a risk when you're buying from other sellers, and especially on Walmart. <laughs> There's a lot of fraud on that, and I know that's off topic for this, but be very careful on Walmart when you're buying. It could be from another seller. So let's apply this to food delivery. Most of the time we're used to getting food delivery orders from restaurants, that's no big deal. We understand that there's many types of restaurants that buy into the Uber Eats ecosystem. Well now with package deliveries, with that paint order, with this home business, pastry business, I think you're gonna see it's wide open, it's the wild west. Any company can get on Uber Eats and sign up for package delivery service and this will be more opportunity for you as the driver. And that leads right into what do drivers need to be concerned about? Obviously, we don't do this for charity, so pay. Pay is the ultimate. So when you accept an Uber Eats package delivery order, you need to be conscious of how much pay you're getting, how many miles are you gonna have to go, how much time is it gonna take you, and when you drop it off, are you gonna get another food delivery or another type of order, or are you gonna have to drive back really far to your market? So these are things you need to consider. And another consideration is your safety. Your life comes first and obviously your well-being. So I would always confirm that these are real businesses and heaven forbid, you don't wanna get into any illegal activity. But I think if something looks strange and you'll just have to trust your intuition knowing that something's not right, don't take that order. When I picked up from this home business, it was clearly a family with small children and I could smell the wonderful baking smells emanating from the house. And then they gave me that nice bag and inside I could see those lovely looking pastries. I think they were low risk for criminal activity, but you have no idea who's on this platform. So I would stick to reputable businesses. Another consideration that you should make is the time of day. If you're out doing package deliveries all day, that could be good, but what if you would make more money delivering food during peak meal times, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? But if it is slow in your market, I would say take whatever order makes the most sense for you. Yeah, you're taking a chance, maybe a better one would come along, but I would rather keep my car moving, earning money, than just sitting and hoping for an order. So pay attention to peak meal times. If those times are really busy, maybe you don't wanna do a package delivery during then. I do wanna say, I think it's commendable that Uber tries to get into every market, but maybe they should stick to what's in their expertise. Obviously they're using us as the drivers to move whatever that product is, whether it's rideshare with people or package delivery, and who knows what they're gonna get into next. Please do share, in light of this information, are you gonna be willing to try a package delivery? I sure hope so. Previously, I mentioned about a package delivery that I took into Los Angeles. There were these signs, all this traffic, the long distance, the pay. Was it really worth it? Is this something that you would do? Well, in this next video, you can find out for certain. And wouldn't it be great if I got a tip from that order? So I'll see you there.